According to the CDC, life expectancy has decreased for the second straight year, going from 77 to 76.1 years. Traditionally, life expectancy has increased from year to year. However, since the pandemic, health officials are noticing a decline. The CDC reports that there are two main causes leading to the decline in life expectancy. The big reason is actually COVID. Just the number of deaths that occurred due to uh, uh, COVID infections in the U.S. actually dropped that life expectancy in 2020. And then we had another bunch of deaths, as a matter of fact, more in 2021 than in 2020. The second reason for the decline. We've also seen an increase in um, um, uh, overdoses, um, uh, accidental overdoses or opiate overdoses um, related to drug use. <clears throat> now, that may also be indirectly related to the uh, pandemic as well. Taking your health into your own hands can lead to individual increased life expectancy. We want to encourage people to be able to keep up with their, um, uh, with their vaccination schedule. Or I would encourage everyone to do is to be able to have a healthy lifestyle. Uh, if the um, uh, if you don't exercise regularly, start exercising. If you don't eat healthy, man, try to eat healthier. Uh, if um, uh, you have a chronic illness, whether that be diabetes or high blood pressure or high cholesterol, work with your physician on managing those things. Um, those those just healthy lifestyle choices, uh, of getting enough sleep at night. For people struggling with mental health and drug dependency issues, is those folks who have a mental health issue, whether that be depression or anxiety or or other things that might predispose to uh, drug dependency or to uh, a non-accidental overdose. Uh, we want those folks to be able to reach out and help. And that's the most important thing is that we want to be able to provide treatment for those folks that are suffering from these uh, uh, diseases. Bell says it is also important to have social support because people who find and maintain connections, work and housing are less likely to overdose. The CDC reports show that non-Hispanic American and Dean Alaskan Native people have the biggest drop in life expectancy.